Hey guys, I'm Scarlet Raven from White Fox Medicine, AKA White Fox Nectars, and I'm the head alchemist and founder of this beautiful artisanal earth medicine company. Every formula that we make is specifically designed to cure what ails you. I'm making this video today because I had a vision and it's a big vision and one that I want my community to get behind me if they feel called. So everyone knows that the past two years have been insane. A lot of things have changed for a lot of people. I launched White Fox in 2007. It was a holistic healing company where I did massage and I would make custom herbal formulations for my clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Over time, White Fox has turned into a multifaceted company. I've written four books. Uh, we design clothing. There are teas, bath soaks, tinctures, body creams, body oils, salves, massage oils. Um, our newest one, the Alm Cure, <clears throat> it's a youth tonic for the skin. And it's also a skin cancer preventative. So, a bunch of very unique formulas have come through and changed people's lives. People that were suffering on pharmaceutical prescriptions that f discover us and realize that there are natural cures for depression and there are natural cures for anxiety. We don't need these synthetic drugs in our body that kill our liver. We have other alternatives. And not to mention, when you purchase from White Fox, you join our community. You know, I'm, I'm here for you. Other people that are a part of White Fox are here for you and we're supporting you with prayer and these incredible organic formulations. As the past two years have changed so drastically, we were in Northern California in 2020. As of October 2020, I left Northern California and we were in search of our horse ranch. The business side of things really suffered from the consistent Northern California fires. A lot of our wholesale accounts got burned to the ground and a lot of our communities got fractured from burning in the same places year after year after year. So that compiled with COVID, which basically shut down all of California. It was completely not small business friendly. We took a leap of faith. We found a beautiful ranch, a beautiful plot of land in Northern New Mexico, where my three cats, my entire company, and my two horses live. And now that we're settled here, we've been here a few months, I had this vision. There was um, an opportunity to do a sale in town, in Chama, and I, being alone here on the ranch and having a lot of ranch duties, I wasn't able to just sit at a table and sell my medicine to people for eight hours without having backup. And um, it allowed an inspiration to come through and that inspiration is to have a gypsy medicine wagon that I can tow behind my truck, have one-on-one -on -one meet and greets with people, get to interact with the people that I love to serve and have our entire community uplifted by this natural, organic, earth-savored medicine. So check out this vision. That wagon is what has come through. And then I met an incredible guy who became a handyman. His name is Dave and he was building these horse stalls for me when I first moved in into the garage. And I was telling him about my vision. I was saying, I have this, I am so grateful for my company and I'm grateful for where we are. And I miss being in front of people. I miss connecting with people. I wanna be able to go out there, park on a corner and talk to people about this medicine and change the world. That is my mission. And he's looking at me and he's like, well, I could build you one. And I thought, you could build a medicine wagon? He's like, yeah, we could buy an old sheep herding wagon and we can tear it apart and I can build you a custom medicine wagon from scratch. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can be in the video. Um, so that's what we did. He told me he would do it. He is having visions at two in the morning that are the same visions that I'm having for the trailer and then we'll email or call in the morning and I'm like, what about this for the window? And he'll be like, I already drew that picture last night at two in the morning. <laughs> so we've created this symbiotic excitement around this Madison wagon. It's coming into fruition. I bought the, I bought the old sheep herding um, 
camper van from a local woman who sells sheeps and sheep hides, Tierra wools. And we took this old, old frame and then we demolished what was on top of it. And once we cleared that frame, which actually was filled with a chicken coop, so I got a bunch of free chicken poop for my trees and stuff, which was awesome, we stripped the entire thing and then we built a new base on top of it. When I went to go st start looking at wood prices and labor prices for Dave to build it, and then also I want it to be incredible. I don't want it to be tightly budgeted, manufactured. I want it to be amazing, where we pull up and it's a true show going on. We have crystals and we have hanging plants and people are really feeling the vibe. I wanna go all out with this. When I did the budget for it, I realized <clears throat> the way things are going, this could take me a year to fund, maybe even a year and a half. And I feel like the world needs it now. So I was watching a movie and I saw that this little kid who wanted to go to Mongolia and become a Mongolian sheep herder, he did this Kickstarter campaign and raised the money and went to Mongolia. And I just thought, there's no reason why I can't ask my community. I can show them what I wanna do. I can, I can explain the vision. I can continue to post pictures and allow them to be a part of the process. And then every dollar that they give to build this vision is gonna be a part of all this new joy and healing and vitality that's gonna come into the world. And a lot of you already know, we're all connected. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same room. Every thought that I have and every feeling that I share silently or in front of someone is affecting everyone else. So whenever you make a donation towards a vision like this of someone whose whole life mission, which my whole life mission is really to serve humanity so that we all remember our inner divinity. Every product that I make is to allow people to awaken to that inner divinity that's resting inside of them. Every book I write is a guide to get there. And there's gonna be a new book being released that will help support this project. So if someone does a huge donation, like a thousand or 2,000, 5,000, $10,000, um, I wanna send people products and gifts and have you be a part of the medicinal healing experience. So thank you so much for tuning into this. I really pray that you, you join this project with me and watch Dave and I build this vision. Watch us paint it when it's done. Watch us hitch it, hitch it to my truck. At the, at the end of this, meaning like once this is all going and we've got a flow, I wanna buy like a 1960 long bed Chevy truck and haul it with some really old, beautiful vintage vibes. So that's where we're going, but I have a truck, it runs fine. What's important is getting this medicine truck, this medicine trailer built. So donate if you can, be a part of the mission if you can. If you throw something huge in there, I'm gonna send you a care back. Thank you so much.